Hello, so this is my submission for our assignment for SPD 590, the Personal Teaching Philosophy Video Reflection. So I began my student teaching while I was already a full-time special education teacher at Matilica High School. Um, I've been working here since August. And throughout the teaching experience, as well as my student teaching course in SPD 590, I think I've really grown as a teacher. Uh, I started out last year as an instructional assistant, where I learned how to do a lot of de-escalation activities and learned how to kind of counsel students who had emotional issues, such as ED or students with autism who had outbursts and um, sort of erratic behavior. Uh, for student teaching <clears throat> specifically through Grand Canyon, I've been at Matoka High School where I've learned a lot. I work primarily in a geometry math class for ninth to 10th grade students primarily. A lot of them have specific learning disabilities as well as other health impairments such as ADHD. Um, I think I've really grown in the way that I build relationships with my students as well as the way that I conduct lesson plans that include the entire classroom I also lesson plans that allow differentiation and, and different ways of learning for each of the students. Uh, me and my core teacher always provide multiple forms of expression, such as doing the work on paper, doing the work on graph paper, doing it on their Chromebook, um, you know, extra copies of the assignment, the directions. So I've kind of grown in the way that I learned how to differentiate giving lesson plans. Uh, and I kind of plan to promote the GCU, the, uh, the Christian worldwide view of compassion by just treating all my students with the respect that they deserve, which I think I already have been doing. <clears throat> it's really important to make sure that you are an educator and you are a teacher, but you're also a resource for these students that they feel comfortable with. And a lot of them are going through things that some, you know, you might not be aware of. So it's really important to create a safe space in the learning environment that students feel like they can let you know these issues and that you guys can work with them and work through the issues in order to allow them the best chance to succeed. <clears throat>